If I had to give one piece of advice to anyone who rides bikes, it would be this. Ride pump tracks. If you ride bikes, you probably noticed the boom in the development of pump tracks in the last few years, and there's tons of reasons why. Pump tracks offer way more than meets the eye, and today I'm going to share with you what I've learned about pump tracks to encourage you to find one and take advantage of it. Today we're going to show you a great example of one built by Dirt Sculpt LLC, built here at Penn Forest Township Recreational Park near Jim Thorpe PA. We are also going to give you a few reasons why pump tracks are valuable for all types of riders, no matter what discipline of bikes you're into, give some tips about the ideal bikes and bike setup to bring to a pump track, and teach you some basic skills that you can put to use when you go to a pump track. No matter what kind of bike you ride or what skill level you're on, I promise you will learn something new or improve upon existing skills if you visit a pump track. I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. We make a variety of content related to mountain biking. If at any time during the video you feel like you learned something new or are just having a good time, we would be stoked if you liked this video and subscribe to our channel. Whether you ride cross country, downhill, BMX, or what have you, there are endless benefits to practicing skills on a pump track. When you learn how to properly carry momentum on your bike, you will notice a huge improvement in speed because you are no longer a backseat rider being taken for a ride by your bike. The thing is, it's hard to notice what habits or bad habits you may have developed when riding on your usual trails. A pump track is a controlled environment that will bluntly point out what you are doing right and what you might need to work on. For example, for downhill racers, some people might think that all the momentum of the rider is gravity forcing them downhill. However, the best riders will know that speed is generated by pumping whenever they get the chance. For example, instead of riding around a berm, they are going to go into it with intention and use that berm to generate more speed. BMX riders and dirt jumpers know they must generate speed from the transitions on the jump to carry speed, and cross country riders know they must use the natural ebbs and flows of the trail to generate momentum as well. These skills are not exclusive to individual styles of riding, in fact they cross over way more than you think. These are some of the fundamental skills of becoming a faster, smoother, and more confident rider on any bike. Pump tracks are also great because they offer a place to practice for such a wide range of skill levels. A pro racer can get just as much out of a pump track as a 5 year old scooter kid can. Katie and I have been going to tons of skills parks and pump tracks over the last year because it's a great place for us to bond over mastering new skills without us necessarily working on the same things. One of us can be working on pumping and the other one can be cornering. And we don't have to be far away from each other which is sick because we love riding together. Pump track surfaces can be made from a lot of different things, but we drove two and a half hours to ride this specific one because it has a smooth asphalt top layer. A lot of dirt surface pump tracks and skills parks are closed down in Pennsylvania this time of year because of the free stall cycle making trails muddy and unrideable, making this style of pump track perfect for wintertime practice. The final reason to ride pump tracks is the workout you get. Our legs, backs, and arms were pretty sore and tired after this session. Our cranks barely spun but we got one of the best workouts on a bike that we have had for a while. And part of it is because it's so fun that we didn't really think of it as a workout. Wow, I already feel sore. Oh my gosh, it's really a workout. It's crazy. It's crying. It's crazy, it's crazy. It's fun! It's fun! Pump tracks are perfect for skill building, great for any level rider and discipline, and will keep you in shape all year round. But what kind of bike should you bring to the pump track? While certain bikes might not be the best for pump tracks, try not to let what bike you ride discourage you too much. We brought our full suspension trail bikes with knobby tires and still had an amazing time. Not to mention that if that's the bike you always ride, then these skills will be easily transferable to the trails you usually ride. Ideally, you will want a dirt jumper, BMX bike, or hardtail to get the most out of it. Smaller wheels, a shorter wheelbase, shorter chain stays, and steeper head tube angles will greatly help you navigate the tight rollers and berms found on most pump tracks. I feel like I just touched my butt to the tire. Oh yeah, your bike's gonna be hard with that. 29 inch wheel in the back, gonna really be bumping your butt. But the bigger the pump track's features are, the more big bike friendly they will be. When it comes to tires, you will want something fast rolling that is designed for pavement or compact dirt, and you will want to run them at a higher tire pressure. For example, I usually run my trail bike's tires at 24 PSI in the front and 26 in the rear, but at this pump track, I ran 28 in the front and 30 in the rear. Tire pressure is super subjective and is based on a lot of different variables, so don't take my pressures as an end-all be-all. You basically want a high enough tire pressure so that you don't roll the tire. 
Loss of suspension is not your friend when it comes to pump tracks, because when you pump the suspension eats up a lot of the forces you are putting through your bike and kills your momentum. On our full suspension bikes, we just turned up the compression on our forks and shocks, essentially locking them out, and we feel like it helps. That's what makes bikes without suspension such as BMX bikes or bikes with only front suspension like dirt jumpers and hardtails ideal for pump tracks. If you had like a, a dirt jumper bike here, oh, be game over, you'd be guy. like having so much fun. It is fun on a mountain bike though. This place is not just for dirt jumpers. BMX, dirt jumper, yeah. regular bike, mountain bike. Last but not least, lower your seat to get it out of the way so you can move around freely on the bike. Even with the right bike, pump tracks can feel awkward if you don't know the basics on how to carry momentum through the track. If you boil carrying momentum Ooh. on a bike down to the most simplest and rawest form, you would be amiss if you didn't talk about rollers. A roller is basically a hump in the ground that is designed to help riders ramp up their speed without taking a single pedal stroke. Here's a few basic tips for pumping to get you having fun and boosting speed on a pump track. Keep your body in a neutral position going into the roller and allow the front wheel to follow the upslope of the roller by bringing your arms up near your chin. This keeps your body from going up and getting bucked by the roller and also keeps your momentum moving forward. At the top of the roller, allow your arms to extend, follow the contour of the roller and keep that front wheel on the ground. As your arms extend, allow your body to travel towards the back of the bike where your weight will be over the rear axle. Once your rear wheel has cleared the apex of the roller, push through with your legs and core muscles and allow the wheel to follow the contour of the roller until you are back in position to tackle the next roller. The more you practice, the more it will click and before you know it, you'll be accelerating through rollers. Soon you will begin to see the potential to gain speed in any curved surface, such as berms and the transitions of jumps. A similar concept can be applied to any slope and with time the ability to boost will feel natural and intuitive. After rollers, the next most common feature at a pump track will be berms. When it comes to berms, a lot of the same technique used for rollers comes into play and when you apply these two additional tips I'm about to share, you will be able to hit berms properly and actually gain speed from them. Tip number one is to enter the berm high. If you enter the berm high, you can use the remainder of the berm to pump through like a downslope of a roller. A lot of people enter the berm too low and that won't help generate speed. Tip number two is to keep your eyes up and spot the exit of the berm so you can generate speed with confidence. You wouldn't hit the gas in your car if your eyes aren't on the road ahead of you. So the same concept applies to gassing out of berms. With these basic tips I just shared with you, you can build upon them and get into more intricate and advanced maneuvers over time. Starting with the basics and practicing in a controlled environment such as a pump track can help cement these concepts into your subconscious, allowing them to be deployed when needed out on the trails, skate park, or wherever you ride. If you learned something new or were entertained, do us a solid and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more content like this, hit the like button and leave us a comment down below telling us what you think about pump tracks, what you think about this video, or just say what's up. Pump tracks are a sick place to build skills, practice skills, and just hang out with friends and have a good time. We had such a great time visiting this pump track and can't wait to visit more just like it. Shout out to Dirt Sculpt LLC for building this piece. It's always a great time checking out your projects. As always, I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. Hope you guys have a great week and see you next Sunday. <laughs>